back at it again, man. Conanface.com, crystalcast.io. All right, guys, listen. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video, man. All right, so I'm going to teach you guys how to declare a variable and also, you know, the different data types that it has. All right, but first of all, we're going to check if your crystal lang is on your system, right? And we're going to start it by basically testing the most easiest thing on the language, right? And the most coolest thing, right? Something called play, right? So we're going to come here and we're going to go crystal play, right? What that does is basically it serves a server and now you have a little playground for you to test out crystal, all right? We're going to do this like this, open this up. It should be here already. Well, that's for me, right? So you go to localhost 8080, and there you go. Pretty much you're set. All right. Now, let's start very simple. How do you declare a variable? All right. Let's say we wanted to declare a variable for a car brand. So we say, hey, car brand, and then equals Honda, and then... As you can see, it's running in the background and it tells you, hey, it's a string, Honda, right? So car brand is Honda, right? Now, we basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a bunch of variables at the same time, teaching you guys the different types of data structures that, that it has, right? So we're going to say Boolean, oops, all right? Booleans, which are true and false. Right, let's say it's true, and it's gonna tell you okay, that's a boolean or false. Very simple. And sorry, guys, the reason why it's going so slow, you know, and taking a little time is because I'm running a lot of things at the same time as I'm recording this, and yeah, all right. So let's say numbers, right, which are integers. Let's say 23 for Jordan. You dig? <laughs> All right. See, it tells you it's an integer 32. Now let's do a float, which are numbers with decimals. Float 64. All right. Now let's say... We wanted to declare an array, right? So let's say array, and then I do something like this. One, two, three, four. That's an array right there. And it will tell us the whole thing here. See, array of integers 32. If I was to go and say, hey, the third one, I'm gonna name it, Joe, because you could put anything inside of, of an array as far as a variable, it could be uh, a number, it could be a string, multiple things that you could put inside of an array. Remember, an array is just a list. Remember that, guys. All right. You see, so it tells you you got integers 32 and then you have a string inside of it. That's super cool. All right. Now, let's say we have a hash. A hash is cool because it's similar to an array, but you can name it. So let's say, give it a little space just for clarity. forgot to declare the variable so we basically name in this hash to have inside of it well this variable to have a hash inside of it right super simple so as you can see it, it has the number on number one is Joe and number two is James so it's pretty much like an array right very similar now let's say we wanted to access this and we want to access uh, number two we go like this and we say, show me James. You see, and it tells me it's actually a string. I don't know, that's, to me that's super cool, right? Now let's say 
we wanted to deal with characters, right? Like meaning emojis and stuff like that. So I'm gonna declare the variable car, right? Char. I don't know how you guys might say it. So let's say an example, something like this, and then you, and then the number of it, f uh, sixty one e, and then, oops. Something like that. You see, a little character. You know, that's how it is, right? So that's another different data type, right? Now let's say another one. Let's say a tuple, right? We wanted to do a tuple. A tuple is super similar to the hash and similar to an array, but this little differences, right? So let's say now we wanted to say one hello oops that's another thing in strings for crystal lang you gotta put you know double quotes not the single one all right and let's say three now that's a tuple right there all right now let's say we wanted to access the tuple it's just like it's just like the hash. All right. Now let's say I want to access number two. Number two says three. So remember, it's, it always starts with a zero. It starts zero, one, two. Right. Even though there's the third number, but remember, it always starts with a zero. Right now. For the hash, you see that is different. The hash is basically saying, hey, inside of this variable, give me the one that's named number two. So it, that's why it gave us James. And it's the same thing now for an array, which I didn't show you guys. Like, let's say an array for, let's say, number three, which is similar to to uh, a tuple pretty much it basically does the count so it go zero one two three right so i say okay give me inside of the array the th on the number three right so the number three is actually number four here so that's why it give us four right super simple right now i'm going super quick on this just because this stuff is super basic if you guys don't know this, you're going to learn this as you go on the languages. This is pretty much, if you've ever done any type of programming, this is pretty much the same thing in almost every single language. That's <laughs> that's what I got to say. It's like, it's pretty much it's the same thing. If you've done JavaScript, it's l almost literally the same thing. All right. So let's see another one. There's a named tuple, right? Oops. Name tuple is let's say we wanted to do it like this, and we say uh, Joe, and then we want to do uh, something like this age, we say 23. All right, now that's a name tuple, right? And I'm gonna show you how to access it. All right, this thing loading okay so yeah so basically it's telling you okay name tuple you can also click on here and you get the full information so you got the name is joe age 23 so it's telling you okay name is a string age is an integer this is pretty cool this is just to play around that's what's called crystal play all right it's not as serious i'm going to teach you guys later on how to do the full coding with you know with an atom or whatever editor you want to use all right now let's say you wanted to access this let's say name tuple let's say name and it should give me joe yeah then you gave me joe there you go all right so revising this super quick just for you guys all right so we declare a variable by just saying whatever we want to name it 
So we say, okay, a car brand equals Honda. That's a string, right? Now, Booleans, all you do is declare a variable and say, okay, false, right? It's equal to false. Right now, you don't have to say anything like, let's say you could actually just say false, and it's fine. But right now, what I'm doing is I'm putting this uh, this data uh, this data type right inside of a variable, right? And basically, I'm saying, okay, boolean equals false, number equals twenty three, flow equals twenty two point three. This array is actually this array, and then I'm accessing that array with uh, the number three, which is gonna give me the number four hash. There's the hash, <laughs> you know, pretty much so on and so on. But remember, this is the, the most coolest thing right now. Number one, to declare a variable, all you have to do is just say the name of it, whatever you want to name it, and then say it's equal to something, meaning car brand equals to Honda. Remember, that's one thing that you got to learn from this. Number two, you don't have to put semicolon. Like PHP, JavaScript, you don't come in and say, okay, Honda, and then you put a semicolon. You don't have to do that. Actually, you could do it, but you don't have to do it. It's not best practices, right? So, okay, what else you guys should remember? And that's it, pretty much it. Like, this is all the different data types, you know, different data structures that you could use with Crystal Lang. And, yeah, how it says here, happy crystalline. Okay, guys, I'll see you later, man. CodingFace.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video, man. And also check out CrystalCast.io. That's the new website where all my videos for Crystal is going to be in there. All right? I'm teaching you guys in my own way. Maybe there's other people who might do it better, but there's the way that I teach it. Okay? Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. Okay? See you later. Bye.